and I saw it and I could I could feel it in my spirit all this joy and excitement and I just felt like I was supposed to get in inside of that cloud and I got inside of that cloud and when I got inside this explosion of ecstasy and joy uh, invaded my soul and I felt the presence of God so strong like I had never be, have felt be felt it before I'm super excited about the month of February let me just share with you some things that I feel like the Lord has shared with me about February uh, one year ago exactly I had a dream and in this dream Reinhard Bunke was behind me you, you, if you don't know who Reinhard, Reinhard Bunke is He's probably one of the greatest evangelists that ever lived. Um, you can you can type his name on YouTube. You, you're gonna see some pretty amazing things. And in the dream, he came behind me and he touched my shoulder. And when he touched my shoulder, I felt that fire inside of me. And that was the first time I had ever experienced anything similar. And it was in a dream, but it was very vivid. So all my senses were completely awakened. And he touched my, my shoulder and I felt this fire. It didn't hurt, but it was a fire that burned in me. It was the first time I experienced it. And it was the, the presence of God and he burned inside of me. And he said, in one year from now, the earth is, is going to be shaken. He said, there will, be, there will be a lot happening on the earth. And I knew what he was talking about was associated with the fire. Well... Three months from now, maybe two months, like I started experiencing this fire for the first time. And it just, it is, I enter into my closet and the presence of God hit me. And I'm just like, I'm just like not in the presence of God. And I didn't know that I could experience God in that way, but his fire just burning inside of my heart. And I feel, I believe that the Lord is releasing His fire on the earth and people are going to start to experience His presence and see His glory in a deeper way. And I had this dream in February of last year. So we are entering to February right now and I've already been seeing the Lord do these things. He started doing it in my life and i am started to see people happening with people around me when we enter into the presence of God. Second dream that I had was also very vivid. And in this dream, there was the glory of the Lord was on the earth manifested through a cloud of golden dust. So it was a familiar place, a place where we're having a campfire, uh, a place that I've been before. And there was this glory cloud and I saw it and I could, I could feel it in my spirit all this joy and excitement and I just felt like I was supposed to get in inside of that cloud and I got inside of that cloud and when I got inside this explosion of ecstasy and joy uh, invaded my soul and I felt the presence of God so strong like I had never be felt be felt it before but in a dream I had not yet experienced that um, awaken it was in the dream but I felt it very vividly and it was, there was nothing like it. There is nothing like it on the earth, like the presence of, of the Lord. And He allowed me to experience that glory uh, of His. And I had multiple dreams similar to this one. And there, there, there are some, another dream, let me just share another dream. We're in the campus of my university and in this campus of the university, I remember saying to some people, do you want revival? And I said, yes. So I, I, I said, so take it. And the person would just like, like be, have the presence of God invade their soul and they would be like, they would just receive, that's the look, what it looks like when someone is hit by the presence of God, like the raw presence of God. You know, your, your physical body almost cannot really handle it. That's what I've been experiencing in my closet almost every day. When the presence of God hits a man and people are just like, there's all sorts of manifestation, but the person is just like, ah. And it's, it doesn't hurt, it's just too glorious, it's just too powerful. And the people start singing like, Revival! Revival! Everybody around campus is singing, Revival! And 
there was a man on the side of the road that was like watching us and he had his phone and he said, hey, and he, he represented the demon, the devil, you know, demon. And he said, we have a situation here. Uh, we need reinforcement. We have a situation going on here. Uh, and again, another very vivid dream. And I feel like we've, we're entering into a time where the presence of God is going to become stronger and stronger and people are going to start learning the secrets of accessing the presence of the Lord. In reality, the secrets are very simple. They are very, they're like childlike principles, but we complicate things so, so much. But I believe that the Lord has raised leaders that are going to guide people to the glory of God so we can become a people that live through and by the glory and the presence of God. And God is going to start refining us through His glory and He's going to start cleansing us from the inside out through His presence. And in His presence, in His holiness, by being a people separated that enter and step into the holiness of God, we're going to start being cleansed. This fire of God that doesn't burn, that doesn't hurt, but it burns, is going to start cleansing and burning all and filthiness that is in the inside, all the sins, uh, all, all, the, all the old things that remain, all the old desires, and He's going to start burning new desire in our heart. We're stepping into that season. I'm looking forward to February. We are already, the manifestations are already happening, at least in my life. Also, the Lord is rewarding, and that's another thing I want to share. The Lord is rewarding His people. The people that have been faithful, the people that, that have been faithful in secret, He is opening the curtains and allowing people to do what they've been doing in secret but in display for everybody to see. He's elevating, He's promoting the people that have been faithful in the little and He's going to put them, uh, He's going to entrust them much. Um, just a quick testimony. A uh, few things that I felt like the Lord has shared with me before. He would... So about some of his blessings he was going to give it to me. When I came back in January from, from Brazil, back to school, first week of school, someone gave me a car. Someone came and gave me a car. I met the president of one of the ministries that I most uh, admire and desire to do similar works to theirs. There are people that, that work a lot with Brazil and Mozambique, those two places that I plan on working on and with. So like great connection that the Lord has placed me and had a great conversation, it was great. I, I met the guy in Brazil who was taking a bus, he said I've never taken a bus in Brazil in 20 years, that was the first time, 20 years that I've been coming to Brazil. And I, I just came up to him and said, I, I feel like I've seen you in a documentary. Have you done a documentary with like Todd White? And he was like, yeah. And you know, just start sharing and talking, you know. Um, and he gave me his content. And, and just right there, uh, the Lord is bringing the right people in the right moment, the right connections. He's gonna be the one that's gonna open the door. We don't need to promote ourselves. We don't need to, to go up there and talk of good things about ourselves to others so that doors may be open. He was gonna put the right person right before you. I came back, again, the first week that I was here, I was getting my cell phone, a T-Mobile, and, you know, uh, met this guy, he was a Christian, and. Uh, we had a great conversation on fire for God. The next day, I'm randomly invited to a service uh, at a church. Who was preaching? That very, guy, that very same guy. And in the middle of, you know, in the middle of the preaching, he pointed at me. He said, "Vitor." He said, hey, "What's up, bro?" And we just talked. And then I realized that he leads the youth. Three times a week they wake up at 5.30 and they pray and they enter into the presence of God and they pray for the city and they pray for the nation and, and they pray for the glory of God to, to, for people to experience the glory of God. And like, again, great connections. God is connecting the right people. Another quick testimony. Again, in the same week that I came back from Brazil, I, I was invited to go to a place where uh, people feed the homeless and they, you know, they help them, they give them shelter. I was invited to, to participate and I, I showed up. First, pre first person that I met, this guy came up to me, he's like, Vitor? He said, what's up man? And I was like, I recognize him. That guy, we had preached to him in the jail. We go to a jail ministry, we preached to him, he gave his life to Jesus. He became on fire for Jesus, but we never know what happened to people after they leave jail. Here, they, there he was, 
He was the leader of the ministry uh, that take homeless people out of the streets. And he was, he just, first thing he looked at me and said, like, the Lord changed my life, man. And I could see his eyes shining. It was the most awesome thing to see later on the fruit of what God is doing. God is faithful. He does raise people. And everybody around him was testifying. He said, he took me out of the street and now I know Jesus. He shared Jesus with me. Everybody there was on fire for God. Every there, everyone there, they were talking about going to service and going on Wednesday on this, and they're starting to get involved in ministry. And I was like, this is amazing. Uh, again, another person I would love to be in touch and work with because the work he's doing is really amazing. Just a few testimonies that I wanted to give to show and to for everybody to see that the Lord really is moving. We are in a season where God is moving and He's rewarding His people and He's bringing forth the promises and uh, many things being birthed in the spirit. Uh, so I'm looking forward for the month of February with much excitement. I've already seen many things happening, um, but there's more coming.